All right, YouTube. I promised you an AKZO primer demo. Well, here it is. I got it in uh, some mixing mates. Just makes dispensing a hell of a lot easier. It's a 50-50 mix, right? I'm gonna be using a nice clean mixing can. Some Davilis paint filters. And uh, the reason I always use clean stuff and I don't reuse is because you'll never get all that stuff out. It's just, I don't know if you can see it all cracky, you will never get all that stuff out. And uh, it'll just cause you grief. So, nice, fresh, clean. They're only a couple bucks, it's not a big deal. What I like about them though is it has the ratios right there. We use one to one, and uh, so we'll be probably uh, mixing up to number two today because we have a lot of parts to prime. Vertical stabilizer skin for an RV7. We have some miscellaneous horizontal, horizontal stabilizer uh, spars up at the top. We have a vertical stabilizer uh, front spar. The uh, HS0001 stiffeners. Lots of good stuff. So uh, yeah, I am going to suit up. Um, I definitely urge you guys, if you're going to be using this stuff, read the MSDS sheet. It is some pretty toxic shit. Um, I used it once without and it was so putrid that I went ahead and I read it and this stuff is some pretty nasty stuff. It's amazing primer, it's great epoxy primer, but uh, if uh, anyone pregnant in the area, anyone with uh, lung or respiratory stuff, um, not a good idea. So uh, I will be using my North Full Face respirator, some organic cartridges on it. Um, be safe guys, there's no point in having cancer as soon as your airplane's ready to fly, right? That's just silly. So uh, I'm going to get set up here. And uh, I got a couple more pieces to scuff over there, the uh, vertical stabilizer rear spar um, and some other miscellaneous ribs and then I'll, uh, we'll get to spraying and uh, I'll, I'll show you the mixing. Alright, mixing this stuff. So one suggestion I can give you guys when you mix this stuff is put the activator or the clear solution in first because if you go the other way around and you're using a mixing cup like this it's really hard to see those numbers when that green stuff has washed the whole side of the container away so I have already mixed this stuff up but I'll give it a little on this guy you really don't have to mix you can see it keeps going it's a really thin solution this is the base and this is the one you want to mix up awesome so so I'm going to be using the number two line and we're going 50-50, so... There we go. You know, I'm actually a little bit low and I want to make sure all the activator is really in there. Beauty. All right. All right. Now mix it up. All right. I just use a zips zap strap to mix this up. Mix it up real good, get all the stuff down at the bottom. And you'll notice it is pretty runny. So if you're using a spray gun, and I'm just using a cheap old Harbor Freight uh, 1.4 mil tip gun, um, you don't need to thin this out at all. It is really, really runny. Um, so that's one good news about this. Um, but what I do find is after I mix it up, there's always a couple chunks down at the bottom and it's not too big of a deal because that paint filter is going to grab it.
You see, this is the stuff I was talking about. Don't know what's up with that. It happens every time. Never caused me any problems. That's why I use a paint filter. All right. That's it, guys. We're ready to spray. Okay, guys, we're gonna start with our small pieces. I'm sure you can barely hear me because I'm wearing my respirator. And uh, I got my gun all set up. I'm running about 40 PSI. And I already have a couple of test touches right here. Good football. Here we go. It's really nice. Your marks still bleed through. It goes on so easy. Okay, on to the skin. Okay guys, I waited about 10 minutes, about five minutes or so after I got that skin primed. I flipped all these pieces because it was well dry enough and uh, hit the other side. So I actually added the, that guy, that guy, that guy that I didn't have scuffed yet. 
And I also got the uh, rear vertical stabilizer spar taken care of on both sides. Previously assembled by the past builder, I just wanted it to all have the same uh, primer on it. And uh, I just ran out of paint. Like, I just ran out of paint. And it was enough paint. So uh, up to that two line on the mixing cup, enough paint to take care of all the parts you see here. So it really does go quite a long way. Um, the, the two gallons that are sitting over there are more than enough to probably take care of uh, most of your airplane. I've, I've used, you know, practically nothing. Uh, and it's amazing primer. I mean, it is really hard. When this stuff dries, it is rock, rock hard. All right, here we are. We're back at home. Battery died on the phone. All finished. Finish turned out great. Like I was saying earlier, it's a great finish, guys. It's rock hard. You know, no problems. Really nice. Really nice to work with. One coat, one nice medium coat. Done. Here are the vertical stabilizer parts. And you can see I did make a mistake when the uh, paint gun grabbed the top edge. I got a good run there. A good run there. But I haven't decided if I'm going to sand that out or uh, just leave it. It's on the inside. No one's going to see it. Weight is negligible. But, great stuff to work with. I recommend it. I'm a Canadian. We gotta fight corrosion. Keep building. Keep on banging those rivets.